and welcome to the F Factor. I'm Matt Edmondson and this is not an knitted jumper. I apologise right now. Coming up, we take a look back at last weekend's shows, get your reactions, put your questions to Paige, and we give you an exclusive preview of this weekend's theme. But first, to Saturday night. Wagner stepped on a drawing pin during his performance. Ow! Danny was feeling a little bit tired. And Cheryl had an interesting offer for Simon. Simon Cowell. You can come to my dressing room as much as you like. Okay, um... Now, it was a very special weekend, and it started with a message from someone who I'm personally a very big fan of. The pressure is on the contestants, everyone knows that. Even more so, because tonight, a certain someone is expecting great things. Oh, hi, it's Nicolo. Remember, Nicolo. I was kind of voted off from week one. <laughs> Forget about it. Um, good luck for tonight, guys, and I'm really looking forward to my big comeback tomorrow night in the charity single performance. Thank you very much, Niccolo. But before that, it was Beatles night. Matt was joined on stage by a human centipede. The judges were joined by Cousin It, and Katie appeared to have joined a detective agency. I can't seem to get my head around why this is happening. And you call yourself a detective. Mary had another amazing week. Although I have noticed living the celebrity lifestyle has gone to her head a bit, she's even started referring to herself in the third person. This is Mary as Mary should be. Oh, get you. Next thing you know, she'll be giving out showbiz double kisses. <laughs> Still, two kisses are better than none, aren't they, Dermot? One more time for sure. Now this week, Cheryl wasn't very happy with Wagner, who'd spoken about her in the press. I believe you've made some comments this week about me being from a council estate. Which brings us to this. Cheryl. Uh, I didn't know the guy was a journalist. Now, one performance Simon wasn't keen on was shares. Part of the problem was what Cheryl did with the half staircase. You've shown actually the person you really are, which is... Don't say it. Ah, oh, too late. Now, thankfully, when it came to One Direction's performance, Cheryl was the bigger person and was able to rise above Simon's petty comments about staging. I could get into the hall. I don't know why your mentor put you on a, on a playing platform like that, but I won't. Why the platform? Who cares about the platform? As soon as you compared over the stairs. Oh, Thank you very Can I much. Just say no. Now, it was a great week for One Direction. They got to pop round to Simon's for a cup of tea. And I do literally mean a cup of tea. Now, their trip also allowed Simon to show off his giant remote control. The right song. But we've got to make it fantastic. Fantastic. But after stealing it from Simon's dressing room, I've discovered this is no ordinary remote control. It has the ability to control Louis Walsh. Yeah, I've actually got it here. For example, if Louis starts to say something that Simon disagrees with, he can just shut him down mid-sentence. I think you're great, but... <clears throat> but most excitingly, you can put in what you want Louis to say. So instead of getting... But tonight you're like a little Marvin Gaye. <laughs> you can get him to say, ooh, uh... But tonight you're like a little Justin Bieber. <laughs> or this? But tonight you're like a little Piers Morgan. <laughs> you see? Oh, I'm enjoying this. I've got a great one, actually. Uh, just... There, you're gonna love this. But tonight you're like a little Simon Cow. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop that back. So, Louis's got an excuse for all his terrible page comparisons, but sadly, Cheryl doesn't. Page, you were just a little you. He looks nothing like a female sheep. <laughs> Meanwhile, Katie got a new hairstyle that made her look like a young Wagner. And Danny was not a fan. Every week you say, this is the real me, this is the real me, this is the real me. And every week it's something completely different. She has got a point. Katie's been compared to everyone from Madonna. Madonna is one of my idols. To Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. To Tom Richards' dad. This is my moment. This is the moment! But if it's an impersonation you're after, then look no further than Mary. She's been picking up a few tricks from vocal coach Evie Burnett. I'm enjoying learning new songs and you know, learning new tricks with your voice. Yeah, tricks with her voice. I'm telling you, she can do all sorts of stuff. Genuinely, I'm Harry and I fancy Mary Burn. Absolutely. Dodecahedron. 
Listen to your seat, pals. It's Wagner. And with that, Saturday night came to an end. Still to come on The F Factor, we'll find out what happened on the results show and give you an exclusive preview of this weekend. Now, as you know, every single week on The F Factor, we like to attend one of your parties. I'll be honest with you, in the past couple of weeks we've had some pretty ropey ones. Some of the houses haven't been nice. I'm I'm used to a life of luxury here, and I can tell you that this week's is even lower down on the scale. Seriously, the place is a bit of a dive. Anyway, apologies in advance. Here is Ed in West London. Hello, I'm Ed, and welcome to my X Factor party. <laughs> No, he doesn't look like he washes, and that's the That's a fair point. He look quite sexy. He needs to put a shirt on. From the ghetto. A bit of a walking identity crisis. She's a mini Cheryl. Yeah, I think Cheryl is phenomenal. She is sitting on a staircase. Harry's saying is very cute, but Harry's sexy. Harry Cardinal's not got this charisma, they've got the charisma. One day. To watch, they're fun, they're energetic. They're Why couldn't cool. I have met Harry when I was 16? I'm socialised, I'm more of a Harry Styles. She's boring. No, I love no. her. She gives me goosebumps when she sings. It's amazing. That wasn't amazing, that was boring. She sounds the same every week. Rebecca is unbelievable. Unbelievably boring? No. no. I love Mary. She's no Susan Boyle. <laughs> no, great Mary's so. though. Great Beatles. So. <laughs> Lenny Henry, Luth Van Dross, Marvin Gaye. I have Wagner on the background of my phone. Oh, I love him. Jerry had charisma, Wagner had nothing. Oh my god! What's shorter, Katie's hair or Katie's career? Oh. Oh. I do feel sorry for her. X Factor! <laughs> And remember, if you want to invite us to your X Factor party, you can do. All you have to do is send us an email to that address. I'll read it out just in case you're too lazy to use your own eyes. It's the F Factor at talkbackthems.tv. Right then.